Hey there, biodiesel enthusiast. I'm Dan, Dr. Dan's biodiesel in beautiful Seattle, Washington. We're going over some of the uh, biodiesel issues or things that get blamed on biodiesel on a multitude of different vehicles. This is a Cummings powered Dodge pickup. This happens to be a, a 1997. Um, these were a pretty trouble free unit to add good, uh, well, reasonable fuel filters and a very stout injection pump. Um, but, you know, nonetheless, uh, biodiesel is going to clean out your fuel tank. If you have garbage in there, uh, then that garbage is going to end up in your fuel filter. Fuel filter isn't the easiest to change on these. It's kind of uh, behind the, uh, the brake booster back there. You can kind of see the top of it. You're not going to see the bottom of it uh, with the camera there. But uh, this inline injection pump. Um, it's very large. It's a very strong Bosch unit, very similar to uh, what's on an old Mercedes. Um, it's hard to do damage to one of those unless it's really abused uh, uh, with a, a very plug-through filter. But like anything else, um, if you've got any issue at all with your vehicle about the way that it runs, first thing to do is to check your fuel filter. Uh, change your fuel filter, dump it out, see what comes out of it. Um, it's got to have lots of good, clean, filtered fuel. Uh, and then uh, it should be quite easy. Uh, tons of these running by diesel and everything from school buses to boats to my God, who knows what? These motors are in absolutely everything that you can uh, imagine. Um, some of the newer ones are much more sensitive. Uh, the smaller injection pump, uh, this isn't one, but if it looks you know, similar to this, it's, uh, it's more sensitive. It, it doesn't like to be run without fuel. You can see the the round will have six injectors, well, six fuel lines instead of four on the back, but the rotary pumps. Um, so they're more sensitive to uh, fuel system problems. The electronic controlled ones, the VE44s, if they don't get positive fuel pressure to the pump, they'll um, they'll break and that gets really expensive uh, and with the Dodge uh, and for those there's a small electric lift pump that's mounted on the motor it doesn't have a filter before it and one little piece of garbage gets in there and then that ruins the lift pump and then that doesn't provide positive pressure to the injection pump uh, many people install a low fuel pressure warning light. Right. See, even the uh, the train thinks it's important. Um, a low pressure warning light, so you can avoid burning up your injection pump. Just like everything, it's got to have lots of good quality fuel. If you restrict the fuel flow to it you'll have issues. The fuel is what lubricates the pump. Um, no fuel, no lubrication. So uh, you need to make sure that your lift pump is working well at all times. You always have a good clean filter uh, and you'll be happy. See you soon.